Hey, Chris. How you doing? Good. <laughs> um, I want to ask you about the response Darnell Nurse had to some criticism. He came out and he's played pretty well since then. I guess just your thought on, on his play since then and, you know, how you know, he's responded to, to I guess, some, some harsh criticism a little bit. I think the last, last couple of games he's played really well. And, um, you know, I think maybe it was a little unfair, um, you know, throughout the rest of the playoffs that his game was better than probably perceived. Um, numbers don't always tell the whole story. Um, but definitely there could be an elevated amount of play that, from him. And the um, last two games, I think he's really done that. And the biggest thing is just how well he's moving his feet. And I talked earlier about there's very few guys that can defend as well as he can. He covers a lot of area with his reach and his speed and his um, physicality, how strong he is. He's able to eliminate plays really quickly. So in the last couple of games, you can just see how, um, how he's getting around the ice. He's moving his feet. He's covering a lot of space. And, um, you know, I'm not sure what he had the hit total in game five, but I know game four of uh, 12 hits. And, you know, that just shows me that he's getting involved and he's moving quickly. Second row on the right, Ryan. Uh, this one's actually from Cam Tate. He just was wondering how you maybe, you're on the verge of doing some pretty big things here potentially, how you still keep the, the picture small and focus on the job at hand despite kind of the, the magnitude of what's facing you. Uh, just, we're playing a really good team and if we relax at all, that we're, we're gonna be in, uh, in trouble. Um, so we can be happy with the way we performed the last couple of games and how well we checked and uh, our defensive details were pretty good. But, um, you know, even that being said, we can be very happy with how we played. We just squeaked out a couple of wins. So any step back, we're in a lot of trouble. How do you think your team kind of handled the, the, the day of that game five? What's your sort of read on the, the mood? Different guys maybe try and keep it light. How your group seems to handle these moments? You know, I think they're the players are very comfortable with each other. Um, I think they enjoy being around and spending time together, and um, you know that makes it easier to keep it light. And um, but the read is maybe it looks like it's light, but uh, I don't know. I see a lot of a business attitude. Um, very focused on what needs to be done and the the chatter in the room before they go out for the ice and um, you know I know Derek Ryan didn't play last game but he took warm up and you know I know he said some so said some things to the team um, you know before the game started and just not only him but everybody I think everyone's just know what's at stake right now and um, I don't know I guess that light Atmosphere is just a, a confident attitude, uh, but um, I, I do think that they're very focused and very businesslike. Second row on the left. Chris, you've obviously been in the situation where Dallas is in right now, down 3-2 down in a series. Knowing that mentality, what do you expect out of the Stars tonight? Um, their best, um, and we've seen it uh, at times during the um, during this series. And... You know, I think we're getting a lot of praises from the last game for us, how well we played. But, you know, I'm, I watched that again, and I, I feel it could have went either way. So, um, you know, as good as we were last game, it's probably not good enough to beat Dallas in an elimination game. So our team's got to be even better than we were last, last two games. We'll take a few more. Second row, right, Daniel? Uh, Chris, at various points of the year, the uh, veteran players and a lot of the players have talked about kind of learning from past, ex you know, poor experiences or, or disappointing experiences, you know, losing to Colorado, losing to Vegas. How do you kind of play into that when you weren't here? Does that matter to you in any way? No, I just take my experiences of what I've seen in past playoffs and how the teams are performing and what we need. Um, you know, throughout the season, whether it's in playoffs, regular season, there's always times where th certain things dip in your game, whether it's your breakouts, your four checks, your defensive zone coverage, face-offs, and you're always revisiting certain aspects of your game just because you haven't touched on it for a while and it just those details get uh, 
um, lost a little bit. And right now we focus on little things throughout, you know, our games throughout the series against LA or Vancouver or now Dallas. And whether it's our defensive zone coverage is getting a little loose here or our neutral zone four check or whatever it is, I think we're always trying to um, review things just so that we can stay on top of our game and play as close as to 100%, 100% as possible. Third row right, Tony. Good morning, Chris. Uh, can we expect the same lineup here tonight? Um, we got one possible change, and we'll um, decide that after warm-up. All right, when people talk about Evan Bouchard's game, of course the numbers stand out. I mean, he's putting up some historic numbers so far in these playoffs. But I want to ask you about your assessment and his ability of quick decision-making when the puck is on his stick, whether it's a rim around, whether it's a D-to-D -D pass, and he has pressure on him, and his ability to execute those passes to start the transition up ice. Um, you know, for a player to do that, it's the biggest thing is just having an awareness. And that awareness is hockey IQ, hockey smarts, whatever you want to label that. Um, Evan's a very smart hockey player. And, well, that's the first part of it, and that's probably the most important part of it. And then the other two are, you know, how composed you are, how relaxed, um, do you panic? And, you know, there's not much panic in his game. And then the other one would be just having the skill of making a play, you know, whether that's making a nice pass or being able to protect the puck or, you know, there's little skills into making that next play. And he has it, has that also. But I think what separates him is just having awareness of what's going on, um, awareness of where the opposition is, um, you know, not only having that first four checker, but the other layers of who's being checked and then also knowing where his teammates are. And obviously we've got a system of when a player gets a puck in a certain position, we should have players in that vicinity and those are his options to use. And, um, you know, again, get back to hockey smarts on knowing which, um, which player should be available in that situation. He's very good at that. Second row left, Eric. Will we see Corey Perry in the lineup tonight? Will we see, pardon? Will we see Corey Perry in the lineup tonight? Um, yeah, I believe he'll be in the lineup tonight, yes. No problem with the shoulder? No, 